никто Я единственный в огне Кто читает свои сны Поклоняюсь темноте The people of Elmore lived in peace. Or so they thought. Gumball and everybody else thought that Rob was there to hurt them. But he was only trying to warn them. He was trying to warn them about the impending doom. And that impending doom was that everything was going to be erased. Not knowing about any of this, Gumball woke up like he normally did, and went to school. The day was mundane and boring, just as any other school day. But today was no ordinary day. Bored of Miss Simeon talking, Gumball decided to look out the window. As he was looking out the window, he noticed something weird. He looked harder, and it looked as if the ground was breaking, and beneath the cracks looked like a white void of nothingness. Gumball then yelled, WHAT THE WHAT IS THAT? Gumball then pointed to outside, and everybody in the classroom looked outside as well, and noticed the same thing Gumball had. Everybody started to freak out, and go into a panic. All the students, and even Miss Simeon, ran into the halls where it was utter chaos. The cracks had reached into the school, and it was going to fall into the void of nothingness. Gumball and Darwin found Anais, and they asked her what was happening. She told them that it looked like the end of the world. The trio then ran out of the school, where they saw that Elmore was beginning to be consumed by the void. They looked around and it was even worse than anything they could have ever imagined. People who were driving cars fell into the void. And they saw people running everywhere. Gumball then looked up and saw something even more horrifying. The sky was beginning to be consumed by the void. The void was coming closer to the ground, and to them. Gumball looked around even more and saw that his friends were being consumed by the void. Even Penny was consumed by it. This angered Gumball, but he knew there was nothing he could do. So the trio decided to go home and find their parents. They started running, and eventually they made it to their house. Nicole and Richard were both outside and yelled for them to get inside immediately. They sat on their couch and turned on the news to see if they knew what was happening. While watching the news, the news helicopter showed a bird's eye view of Elmore. And everything was being consumed. Then the news helicopter was also consumed eventually the news station as well. The TV then cut to static. Terrified, the Watersons didn't know what to do. After a while, the void had consumed everything else except for the Watersons' house. They watched as the void started to consume their house. And they watched as it consumed them. And so, they accepted the fact that it was the end of everything. And eventually, the Watersons and everything else in existence faded into nothingness. <laughs>